Hello and welcome to the first in a series of videos which will be produced by HK45 for our members and future members. HK45 is affiliated with the HKIAC and promotes arbitration and provides opportunities for young arbitration practitioners in Hong Kong and beyond to develop their skills. My name is Ben Berry and I'm one of the co-chairs of HK45 along with my colleagues Joanne Lau and Eric Ung. In this first video, I'm going to provide a brief introduction to arbitration, explaining what it is and comparing it with court litigation. The first and most important point to note about arbitration as a form of dispute resolution is that people choose to resolve their disputes by arbitration. If the parties to the dispute have not chosen to arbitrate, they'll be required to resolve their disputes through litigation in the courts. Court litigation is, in that sense, the default position in the absence of a choice to resolve the dispute in arbitration. In substance, arbitration and court litigation are similar. An arbitrator listens to the evidence and determines the issues in a way that is similar to the way a judge in court listens to the evidence and determines the issues. The main differences are procedural in nature. In particular, it is the parties that decide who will be the arbitrator, whereas in court the judge is not chosen by the parties. The parties in an arbitration also choose what rules will apply to matters such as the timetable, witness evidence, experts, the place and setting for the hearing, and so on, whereas in the court, the procedural rules will be fixed for you. Very often, the arbitral award is final and binding, whereas a court judgment may be subject to appeal. Another difference is that arbitral awards have greater ease of enforcement than foreign court judgments. Court litigation is not always ideally suited to international disputes where parties and assets are located in various different places. When an arbitration is over, the winning party has the benefit of an arbitral award rather than a court judgment, and an arbitral award can be enforced in most countries in the world under the New York Convention, subject only to limited exceptions. This is very important in many cases. For example, if the parties are carrying out a project in a country in which the courts are unpredictable or slow, the parties might choose to arbitrate their disputes overseas and in that way secure a binding decision on the issues that can be enforced in the country in which the project is located without having to go through the local court process. Another important difference between arbitration and court is that arbitration is generally confidential and court proceedings are open to the public. This can be an important factor in deciding whether to refer disputes to arbitration or court. When parties decide they want to refer their disputes to arbitration rather than court, there are several decisions they need to make. First, they need to decide how to document that agreement, since in many countries it needs to be in writing. Usually, an arbitration clause is included in the contract between the parties at the start of the project. Second, the parties need to decide the governing law under which the dispute will be determined. Third, they need to decide the seat or location of the arbitration. The governing law and seat can be different to the location of the subject matter of the contract. Accordingly, parties to a contract for the construction of a building in one country can choose to arbitrate their disputes in an arbitration seated in another country and governed by the laws of a third country. Fourth, the parties need to decide whether to apply the procedural rules of an arbitral institution, such as the HKIAC, and they should study the rules before making that decision. This session is merely an introduction to arbitration and the key differences between arbitration and court litigation. In the next sessions, we will hear from our colleagues about other arbitration-related issues.